Hello guys, this is Ribs and this is my very first look at Lord of the Rings Online, so let's see what happens. Camera movement. To move your camera around, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse around. If you use the right mouse button, you'll move the camera as well as your character. You can use either of these to control your view going while standing or while moving. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. You cannot tarry here any longer. Gorgon's forces are here upon us, and I fear they may straight they may they make straight for this library. He seeks the relics of Edelion. I do not know what a dwarf could want with them. These relics were once coveted by a gaunt lord of old. I think the fool believes he can become immortal if he acquires them. Open the satchel, right click on the satchel to collect what is inside. Okay. Right click. Too far away. Right click. There's a weapon in the satchel, you should now loot and equip it. Okay. Loot all. Inventory and items. You have obtained an item. Any items you obtain will be contained within your inventory. You can access your inventory via the interface at the bottom of the screen or by using the designated hotkey. In your inventory, you can double click a piece of armor or weapon to equip it to your character. You can also open your character panel by pressing C and drag the item into the appropriate equipment slot. Note if you have already if you already have an item equipped, the new item will become equipped and the old item will return to your inventory. Containers and fallen foes can be looted. Look for sparkly effects to indicate that an object has loot in it. Right click the object you wish to loot, then right click the items you or right click the items to loot them. Makes sense, obviously. Uh, let's open my inventory. Double click that, and there we go. I have my dagger. Let's Good. You are again. better armed. Good. You are better armed. Your master Telegon wishes to see you before you venture out into the fray. But do hurry. The place is not safe for you. Accessing your inventory. Press I to open your inventory to see the weapon, or left click on the bag icon in the bottom of your screen. Equipping your weapon. Right click on the weapon in your inventory to equip it. This will replace the flimsy weapon you currently have equipped. You should better equip your best weapon before attempting to engage in combat. Yeah, that's probably a good tip. Follow around to tell again your master. Okay. Let's follow this guy. Close my inventory. Oops. There's a wall there. Hey. Look at that. Telegan Silver Tongue. Once again, too far away. Riz, my dear student, I wish I could let you stay safe within these walls, but Elrond tells me that Scorgrim makes straight for this library. You must survive this battle outside. I am afraid. I have a worry for you. Duel with me one last time, my friend, and show me that you are ready. It will ease my heart. Right click on an enemy who wants to begin auto attacking. An auto attack is a weak damage skill, but each class has more powerful skills available as well. I'm close to the enemy if you intend to use melee weapons and attacks. Your skills are located in the quick slot bar in the bottom center of your screen. Using these special skills will greatly assist you in defeating your enemies and should help you survive longer in battle. Alright, let's get this guy. There is no time to waste. There's no time to waste, Rims. Go outside with Telegan and see what can be done to stop Scorgrim from advancing. The door hands cannot be allowed to take the Gaunt Lord's relics. I have vowed to keep them safe. I will hide the relics and I will join Telegan in protecting the library. Be safe, young champion. 
Now I need to talk to him outside of the library. No, master. Loading, 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 loading. Basically, I notice this play is extremely similar to World of Warcraft. Um, from the graphics to the quests. I mean, yeah, the hot bar is a little different, but overall, overall, there's not much of a difference. But that's not a complaint. I mean. I like how World of Warcraft works, so don't expect me to be making videos of that though because I can't afford the <laughs> amount to pay per month for that, so yeah. Doors and portals. Doors and portals can be used to travel to other areas of the game. If the door can be opened, your mouse cursor will change when you mouse over the door. To open the door, right click. Portals are designated by a large yellow sparkling effect. To use a portal, simply run through it. Well, that's one difference, I guess. You don't have to right click everything. I mean, you still have to move frame rate issues. Many characters and even objects will offer quests and information. Right click anyone or anything with the ring icon to receive or advance a quest. Blue quest rings will tell you that the NPC may have helpful reminders of what you need to be doing in Epic Story Quest while the flaming ring to signify the importance of the quest for the main storyline. Uh, you know what? I am going to stop recording for a minute. Uh, see if maybe I can fix these frame rate issues. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, you may have noticed I'm in a little bit of a different spot. I uh, actually closed Lord of the Rings client for a minute and uh, when I signed back in, I was back where I started. I don't know. So I had to go through the first few quests again, but I still had my items that I got from the satchels, so I don't know. I'm a little confused right now. Anyway, back to the game. Let's see what this guy has to say. Elbereth save me. Go ribs, this is where the storm will converge. Edelben is down below. He will let you through the gate to protect what is left of the refuge. Follow Telegan Silver Tongue. Let's go. Cover the river and through the woods. Go. Thank you. you <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Well, let me through. Lead me to one gate to have me follow you to another, really. You know, I'm wondering if maybe this is just a tutorial level. And once I get through it, you know, maybe once I get through it, I'll be able to, you know, start somewhere other than where I ended at. Or start somewhere other than the beginning, I should say. When you defeat enemies or complete quests, you can experience, earn enough, and your powers and stats will increase by leveling up. When your character levels, you will gain access to new skills and be able to equip bigger and better armor and weapons. As soon as you level up, you should seek out a trainer to learn these new skills. So, once again, another similarity to World of Warcraft, you have to go to a trainer to learn your skills. But... Once again, that's not really a complaint. I mean, yeah, it takes a little bit extra time to get to those trainers, but... It wouldn't be the same if... If I didn't have to go through that.
I don't think I can go through that door. Oh, hey, look, another door. Five of them already? Really? Why am I going diagonally? Oh, that's fine. Whee! I could jump over your head, buddy. If I wanted to. Actually, I probably couldn't, but... What's that little arrow doing? Thorns all. Mega okay, I, started. I fear for Adelian. How much more can we withstand? And I hear that Scorgrim has not even shown himself yet, which means the worst is yet to come. Aid in the defense of the courtyard. They have broken through. Wasn't I just looking at that? Oh. Man? Oh, big scary monster. This is my earth will be unlocked. Before your eyes, be sure to pay attention to these events to gain insight. Into your quest, sometimes you'll be momentarily halted in order to watch the record of scenes and stories. <laughs> oh, look, the bridge is broken. Oh, look at the corpse. I don't think I can jump that. It's a little... Oh, he killed himself. I think I just saw a door through the ceiling there. <laughs> Well, what's up, guy? Evelyan is ruined. My last Ruth, you have lost your beloved master. You may blame me for his death. I could have saved him, but he bade me go to you instead. Talgan was brave to spare your young life. Evelyan is ruined now. Talgan was not the only elf to die today. Scorbrum will be or will trouble us no more. And the relics are safely buried, but it was such a needless battle. Adelion will fade. Finish now. Oh look, another loading screen.